MST2474, and I'm bringing you my first LPS DIY how-to video. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a DIY LPS fire alarm system. Now, I do not think anyone else has done this. Probably, probably not. I don't know. I never bothered searching, but I just went ahead and decided to do it. So, what you're going to need is a piece of paper. some cardboard, something that will help you guide where you're drawing, some stick glue, scissors, a screw, and some coins. Oops. You're going to see what these these are for in a minute. A standard pencil. A red colored pencil. Now it does not matter which color you want. No, it depend it depends on which color you want your alarm to be. Now you now for the fire alarm you can choose to be choose to be um, creative and make an alarm completely by you or you can choose to make an alarm that actually exists. So let's go ahead and get started shall we? Okay everyone so first things first I have my piece of paper out already and right now you're gonna wanna go ahead and pull this out. We're gonna start with the main fire alarm unit panel or control, main fire alarm control unit I'm going to be making real life fire alarms. I'll use the Simplex 4006 for an example. Sorry if my hand is covering your view. Oh, I just saw that move because uh... I didn't get that line right. There we go. No, it's okay if you make mistakes. Everyone makes mistakes. All right, there we go. A simple circle. Oh God, sorry, sorry, fail, 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 fail. S square, yeah, simple square for the panel. So now, you're going to I'm go ahead and put the lock on it. There's our lock, nice little something on there. All right. So also you're going to want to hmm, yeah, you're going to want to place a little something to So if you want it to have a hinge and open and shut this will this will help and well I made that a bit too short now if you make mistakes that's okay like I am I'm making mistakes but we learn from our mistakes so so there you go like so this line here was a mistake so yeah make mistakes you learn from them. So now I am going to make this 
Uh, I'm going to make the um the window so you can see the controls. So yeah, there's our window. Now let's go ahead and put all the stuff, lights in there. Screen. So, for the 4006, we need five buttons. Yeah, I just make a mis I made a mistake there. I ended up only having space for like four buttons, but whatever. This is something, it's, it's a DIY. You can do whatever you want with it. It doesn't matter. You learn from your mistakes, people. You learn from them. So now, we're going to make the, the bottom label. So yeah, there's what you're going to need right there. This is what you need. So now I'm going to go ahead and put 4006 on there. And oh, not supposed to be there. Yeah, make mistakes. You can learn from your mistakes. I keep saying that, but it's true. A little S for the Simplex logo. So there's the front of the panel. And maybe I could actually sh um, put the right amount of buttons on there. There we go. Put the right amount of buttons on there. So now you know the main part of it. Now the rest of the parts are going to be time lapsed through. You can still get an idea of what I'm trying to do here. Okay, so now that we got the normal stuff, the panel the pull station, the notification appliance. So now you're going to figure out what the the screw and the coins are for. The coins are simply, just like the rest, for shaping. So I'm going to show you how to make smoke detector. Now you want to be gentle I was never a perfect one at making circles, so, like freehand, so, there we go, a circle, so now we put this in here in the middle, the smaller coin for the detection chamber. Just like that, like a perfect little ring. <laughs> now for the screwdriver, is the middle part. Oops, screwdriver, screw. Yeah, screw. I don't know why I'm saying screwdriver. Whoops. You want to place that directly in the middle. 
and then simply write that at shape it okay get us hold it down there you go there's that right now it looks like an edwards heat detector which if you want to just have an edwards heat detector you can just leave it like this but we want a smoke detector and also you can do the same with the coins and all that and screwdriver why am i constantly saying screwdriver or screw for like if you want to have like a ceiling mount horn strobe or strobe only so now we're going to make the entrance into the detection cell now I'm just randomly creating the smoke detector. The smoke detector does not exactly exist, but correct me if, my, if I'm wrong. If, you, if any of you fire alarm enthusiasts are watching, but I kind of doubt that I'm making a real, that this smoke detector I'm making is the real deal. I'm just freely doing this. So yeah, this is our detection chamber, and you and I can just go ahead and put a little extra in there. See how that works. Yeah, not perfect, but there, that'll do. No one cares. Looks a little bit weird, but whatever. So yeah, now we're going to get into coloring. So the devices I'm going to be coloring is the 2099-9756. I know you don't know that, but that's the full station. Like some some people that are watching may not know. Like, what the heck are you talking about? Well, I know my numbers. The 4006 or the control unit. I'm going to be coloring them red. So, and there is going to be another addition to the fire alarm con control panel that I'm going to be putting in in a second. So I'm going to go ahead and time lapse through it. All right, so now that you've colored everything in, it's time to cut things out. All ready. So, like usual, I'm going to time lapse it. All right, everyone, so now that everything's cut out and colored in, we're going to go to the panel. Now, you remember that there was something else I didn't mention, in it, right? Well, we need to fold this down. The best way to do it is put it on like that, and then just like that make sure you have an object like this so then you can have an easier time just fold it like so pretty easy and then you can open it up now I'm going to go ahead and trace that through so we know that that's where the hinges are. So now what we do is we pull this thing out again and We're going to write down the keypad.
So now you pretty much know how to do the keypad, so I'm going to time lapse the rest. All right, now that you've gotten the keypad and circuit board done, now here's where the cardboard comes in. You're going to want to place, uh, I got to quickly move all these out of the way for a sec. So you're going to want to place every device on the cardboard. And then you're going to want to outline it first and then cut it out last. Sounds easy enough. Let's go ahead and time lapse through. All right, everyone. Now that you've outlined everything, you may now go ahead and cut them out. So, I'm going to go ahead and Thomas through and Pepper just fell. Alright everyone, you may have seen that I only cut out a section. That is because it'll be much more easier to handle. So now, anyway, anyway back to the time. All right, now that we got our pieces cut out, we are now able to bring in our 9238 horn strobe, or any horn strobe that you have, our smoke detector, our pull station, and our panel. And of course, how are we gonna get them on? Did I ever mention the stick glue? Yes, no, maybe so. Well, we are going to glue all these on. So, to the time lapse! Alright. You are pretty much finished now. So, geez, I've been on my knees for almost an hour. God, that's a pain. The panel is done. See, you can open it. Shows all your controls. We got our horn strobe. Oops. Yeah. You're going to want it to dry. Let it dry because it may be a bit on... Um, it's still... The paint... Paint. Whoops. The glue is still a bit wet, so you're going to want to let it dry so it doesn't flip off. So, here's our pull station. And here's our smoke detector. Like I said, you're going to want to let all this dry because it will fall off if, you're, if you go a bit too rough on it before it dries, so... Yeah, you want to go ahead and let it dry. Well, that was my first LPS DIY video. I hope you liked. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.